How worth it are coding boot camps in 2024? So I've been looking to get out of my current field for a while now and got a few IT certifications as a way to do that, but was discouraged by the lack of bytes on job applications. Recently, however, coding boot camps caught my eye. I have some coding experience, personal and entry level college projects and enjoyed what I've done so far, but was looking into coding camps as a way to regiment my learning and take advantage of the ones who offer career support. I'm currently looking at a six month full stack development course that offers a guarantee with strings attached, of course, of a job within six months of completion. It seems worth it and more cost effective than a bachelor's degree, but I was wondering if y'all had any insights on the job market and efficacy of such courses and considering the current layouts. Basically, is it worth it for me to drop 8K on this course? Okay, so you're not looking for the more expensive coding boot camps, you're looking for the cheaper ones. With the tech sector layoffs, are coding boot camps still worth it in 2024? Specifically the ones with career guarantees and services. All right, um, I'm gonna base my response off of the TLDR. A lot of layoffs, I think that is a signal you should take seriously. A lot of coding boot camps have taken in so many people especially when they took advantage of the pandemic to build remote programs, but they rushed them, right? Every coding bootcamp was trying to like bring more people into the remote programs. Often your student teacher teacher ratio became worse and worse and worse. So you had less teachers for more students and they just profited off of many people coming into the industry. That is a thing that happened, and we are still f definitely feeling the effects of that. Many graduates have been spit out into this entry-level um, industry with a lower quality across the board coming out of the coding boot camp because that teacher ratio matters. And when you try to bring in more students and push them through a program that's not capable of providing the right mentorship and the personalized mentorship for each of those students the the depth of knowledge and the quality of software engineer that's going to be produced from that program is generally going to go down we've had different coding boot camps that have been sold out to different colleges and bigger educational institutions that just want to make a profit the quality continues to lower we have a lot of people in the entry-level market right now in my opinion, most of whom will give up and not become a developer. And that needs to happen. There are many people, unfortunately, that have been given false expectations of the industry and what it takes to get in. And they're not willing to put the effort they're, They don't have the grit and they're not willing to put it or like they're not willing to build the grit and the mindset to be successful with this very nonlinear path of trying to land a job as an entry level developer when hundreds of other people are applying for the same position where you have to constantly grow. You have to constantly face rejection where you have to constantly feel that you're stupid, that you're not intelligent, and you put all these other software engineers on a pedestal, and they are so much ama more amazing than you. How the fuck did they get jobs? I'm never going to get a job because I just am not capable of it because I've been doing this for six months. I've been doing this for a year. I keep going and going and going, and I don't know what success looks like. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I don't have the right guidance because my coding boot camp failed me, because this content creator told me to buy this course and that was gonna get me into the industry within six months and I would make 100K because I have been given false expectations over and over and over. How the fuck are you supposed to navigate this, right? That's the problem. You have so many people that have been given false expectations. They don't know what the hell to do. They are closer to being marketable. They are closer to getting that position than they realize. But holy shit, has that path been so self-defeating for so many people where they have no more steam left. And they're going to give up. And they're going to leave. Some people probably could have been a really good software engineer. Some people it wouldn't have been for them. But there are going to be a lot of people that leave. And the market will self-correct in time. That's the reality. So it might not be a pretty reality. But that is the reality. So the question that remains, is a coding bootcamp still worth it in 2024? 
My answer is 100%. Not for everyone. Stop choosing coding boot camps based off of outcomes. Do it for structured learning and mentorship. Don't do it for connections. A lot of the marketing materials advertise these coding boot camps as having all of their, their fingers in all these different companies and they're going to set you up with a job and an internship. Be careful. That hasn't turned out to satisfy that promise in a lot of marketing materials and even just like a lot of job fairs where they bring in companies to be able to interview you. There are a lot of times just looking for teaching assistants who have gone through the program a second time and they're just, they then switch these job fairs to uh, practice interviews, right? Because these employers weren't hiring these graduates. And that has been a reality for actually a very long time and it's become worse. Don't go for job outcomes. Don't trust job outcomes. Don't go for connections in the industry. Don't trust that advertisement. When you toss both of those aside, you can go the self-taught route for a little bit, see if it's for you. If you need structure, if you need mentorship, you need motivation, you need accountability, you can get all that in the self-taught path. Most people kind of just need that bump to get the right mindset. That's what a coding bootcamp is for. I would be careful about choosing a coding bootcamp to fast track you into the industry. Now it's more like it's going to give you that initial mindset and structure to be successful with the developer path and then land that job, have a higher chance of landing that job without giving up. That's how you look at coding bootcamps. So you understand what you're paying. You set a very long runway for yourself even after you graduate, six months to a year at least of a financial runway when you graduate, I'm gonna continue doing project work. I'm not letting my foot off the gas. I am hitting this hard and I will go to networking events. I will build connections. I will be transparent about like what I'm learning, the projects that I'm building. I am going to get involved in the developer community. I am going to dive heavily into um, into project work, I am going to reinforce everything, all this knowledge that's scattered with this coding boot camp because I had to rush through it. It's a coding boot camp. I'm going to reinforce all of that. I am going to not, when I graduate, I'm not going to stop. If you don't have that mindset, if you don't think you're going to have that mindset, a coding boot camp is probably a waste of money for you. And I would highly recommend the self taught path a much longer version of the self-taught path to see if you even really want this job, if you really want this industry, if you enjoy coding, you like the aha moments. You go into a coding boot camp for that structure, for that mentorship. You have to toss out the promises that coding boot camps are making that are desperate because they are losing signups. It's not about them, it's about you. So you have to understand that a coding bootcamp is supplementing your weaknesses in the self-taught path. And it is very viable. And even ISA agreements, if you can still get one, are very viable as long as you understand the contract. You understand what you need to do in order to get that refund or not pay if you don't get a job. You understand the minimum salary that you need to make where that ISA is going to trigger. You understand that, like, does this ISA only trigger when I get a software engineering job? What happens if I have to go back to my old job that pays over 40000 Do I all, all of a sudden have to pay this ISA, right? ISAs, income shared agreements, are really good. And job guarantees are really good if you understand the terms that make up that agreement. And this is why I recommend talking to an attorney if you don't understand certain clauses. Coding boot camps are a really good option if you are financially set up well or you understand the terms of the ISA agreement and you need what a coding boot camp supplements. That's the answer. If that is not the case, pursue the self-taught path. Or pursue the self-taught path as long as you feel is necessary until you realize, you know what, I do want to do this, I just need more assistance, then a coding boot camp can help with that. You need to be really resourceful with a self-taught path. That's my answer. So are coding boot camps worth it in 2024? Absolutely. <laughs> 
but the devil's in the details.